here we go. We got another one of those jet cars approaching the dock. And today I'm going to apologize a little bit in advance, guys. And it's nothing against our guy here, but we've got one of our backup cameramen down here. So as you can tell already, things are a little bit shady on the camera today, but we're working on getting that fixed. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, BG, and today we are down here at the world-famous 79th Street Boat Ramp at Pelican Harbor. And we can tell our guy is struggling. But I'm imagining he's using an abundance of caution here. I'm just guessing that smacking the dock with this thing would not be pretty. Some spider cracks, scuffs in the gel coat, probably aren't going to look the same on this as they will on a boat. I'm getting close! And they're going to bounce off the dock. No fenders out. I don't even know where they put fenders. I don't see any cleats anywhere. But he backs off, and our girl's got the lines ready to go, but... I mean, there's nowhere really for her to try and push this thing off either. So our guy's going to spin out on the dock on this one. Going to have to reapproach it. I have to imagine, I mean, approaching on this has got to be difficult anyway. There's not a whole lot of room for them to work. Can't really get on a gunnel on this. So, like, it's not like she can even put her legs over and really kind of get in any kind of advantage here. She's just got to wait for him to get close enough and hope she can jump off. So we're coming back in on approach again. This time she looks like she's getting more into pounce mode to be ready to get off this thing. Here we go. Kicks the stern toward the dock. And gotta be careful, are we gonna hit again? No, she gets it over the dock. We got a lot, oh, coming back. Oh wow, good work. She got the fender out with the quickness right before it smacked. The bow of the car was coming back around, and I thought for sure they were going to hit for a moment there. But she's got it on and has the fender in place. She's just having to hold it. Again, I don't see any cleats, but it looks like they're on and good to go. And here's our girl running the show down at 79th. Trying to keep everybody going to the right docks. Typically, they'll have them assigned down here. Some are for pulling out, some are for launching, some are for jet skis only, some are for boats only. And so she constantly is keeping everything moving, does a great job. But here comes our crew, and they're trying to get this one put up. So Cap is trying to get on to number five. And here's where you can tell where people are showing up. He's got the motors turned into the dock. And that's typically one of our signs down here. A twin engine boat, most people, once you really get the hang of it, you just leave those motors straight and you won't actually turn them around the dock when you're trying to get this thing docked. It's all about throttle. So now they're, ooh, they're backing the motors into the dock. Cap, you're gonna wanna get off this thing. Oh, so our guy is running now to try and push him off. I mean, Cap, I just pushed off with a little throttle on that one, bud. So we backed in with the engines. They're going to have to try this one again. So here comes attempt number two for our crew. And the bow comes in. Our girl gets off. She's got a line in hand. But he's backing out on him. So she's holding the line, trying to see if she can get it around, but she's wrap it around the pole. And he's backed out on her for some reason. And we're kind of shot blocked here, so it's tough to tell exactly what's going on. But he's yelling at her for about something. He's not happy with something she did. <laughs> and, and she is not happy with him either, it appears, because the look she's giving him is the scold of like, bro, you don't like it, you get out here and do it yourself. But I don't see a line in her hand anymore either. So they're off. Gonna try and come back in one more time, it looks like. They're going to miss one more time. 
So she's not really helping much now on the dock. She's kind of like, yeah, bro, you guys work it out. Take care of that one yourself. So she's going to leave the boys to go at it <laughs> instead of really giving a hand. And they're going to miss on this attempt. And they're going to have to circle around one more time and give it another go. So this one's always interesting. I always get nervous when I see these guys standing in the bow like this, but they're getting close. He goes for the push off. Cap goes into reverse for some reason. And no, the line's not attached. So our guy gets off on the dock. I thought the line was attached to the bow. I'm a guessing Captain did too, but they back all the way out. They're gonna have to approach again. That was a super cautious approach. The boat looks nice. I wonder if they just got it repainted and they're like, yeah, we're not playing any games with this one, my man. We're not even gonna come close to scuffing the new paint job. So Cap's gonna come back in on a second attempt on this one, but nobody's in the bow now, so I'm not sure how we're gonna play this. You figure somebody go up there and try and grab this line, but no, everybody's just gonna chill behind the helm. So, gets close. Oh, oh, he's backing out again. Our guy on the dock was went to stop him, but he's like, no, we don't want to get close at all. But our guy on the dock had his foot out. He was ready to help him out. Oh, he's going to step back onto the boat. And here we go. Cap's going to pull it over, and they're going to get that line attached. And it looks like they'll be good to go this time. And our crew, slow rolling it toward the dock. Our guy's gonna push it off. Got a, oh, oh, Cap's coming back. Gonna probably hit the dock here. <laughs> Green shirt goes for the save. Climbs up over, gets over the bow rail, which was a pretty hefty move there. It's sitting pretty high. And man, our guy's struggling with the line from the dock. So he's trying to tie it off. Cat tosses a little reverse action into it. And that's gonna spin this boat. It appears all the way around. But you can't load it on a trailer like that. Oh, coming in hot. And he winds up on the dock. And our guy tossed the line. She's trying to toss it back. And he's like, bro, you gotta turn it around. I don't need the line. Turn the boat around. Try it again. And they're going to have to start all over. But we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, a main and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.